Ironically enough, I made a video talking about the Boyce Watkins versus Dr. Umar situation. And I, I, I made the video that Saturday night when um, Boyce kind of tried try to get at, you know, Umar. Or alleged, you know, whatever. You know. And I, I, was, I was rooting on Dr. Umar. I was saying, like, you know, Boyce Watkins, you're a coon for letting uh, Samantha G on your channel. You're a simp. You're a lame. I, I was just cussing him out. And then I, 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 the same night, I, I'm looking at Doc, I mean, uh, Dr. Umar Johnson's response, and I'm like, okay, he's going overboard. You know, the, do, Dr. Boyce apologized like two damn times on one night, and it's like Dr. Umar is still going at it. And the thing is that, you know, I like Umar, but, you know, you, you, you're making me kind of question whether or not I, I should give you the money. And I, I've, I've donated like four times, five times, probably six. And the thing is, I want to keep doing it. But you got to, you know, you got to prove to me that when I send my brother or, I have, you know, if I have a son and I send him to you, I don't want him being emotional over bullshit. I want to know that, you know, I, I'm sending him to a man that I can trust, you know, and that I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm leaving my son as a boy. He comes out like a man. And, you know, Dr. Umar, you need to really learn how to just let shit go. I know the the conscious stripper, you know, done rattle your mind. And, you, you know, you, you know you, you're, you're trying to get your manhood back because everybody was like, you know, you know, ooh, Dr. Umar, you, know, he, you know, he's going soft. He's, he's dating strippers. You know, he's simping over this girl. And I'm, I'm like, you know, I can understand that, you know, when those texts got out, I know it, it bothered you. But you, you got to kind of just let people run their mouth and not be so uptight about it. You know. You know, everybody was rooting for Dr. Umar, you know, for a minute. Everybody was like, yeah, Dr. Boyce was in the wrong for letting that girl come on his show. But then, you know, it switched. Now everybody's like, you know, I don't even know who, I'm not rooting for anybody. You know, this is, this is some tragic shit, man. This, this is some tragic shit. But, you know, you know it's, it's, it's really sad that, you know, it, it's really sad that you see, you know, two grown black men who have doctor degrees can't even settle something out, you know. If, you know, Dr. Boyce had a question, you know, we could have just phone called him. He could have just got the girl that he was, um, had on the show and just have, you know, her call him, call Dr. Umar. And, you know, that could have been that. Yeah, she was right to her own opinions. But I'm just kind of saying, did, did this need to be aired publicly? And, I, you know, I see faults on both sides. You know, I see faults on Dr. Umar because... He's getting over emotional. He's, you know, he's not being the bigger man. He could have just blow, blowed it off. Like, okay, she had questions. Um, let me schedule this. Let me talk to you live, or you know, you know, because I, 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 you know, you know, just to inform people. But you know, Doctor Boyce, I, I kind of blame him a little bit too because you know, he allowed somebody who was reckless to get on the show. And it, it 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 came off funny, and you know I wish these brothers can kind of just let it go, but you know I think this is really like a lot of strikes on Dr. Umar because it's like, you know, I, I'm, you know people are just kind of I'm I'm just kind of you know, I can see men are just going to start being scared to support Umar because he, they they might stab him. You know, they might stab him, he might stab him in the back and just be like, you know, wait, I was riding for you, but what happened? Like, you know, why are you taking shots at me? I'm, I'm acknowledging you. But, you know, it, it's really, it's really going to be hard working with brothers nowadays because I, I feel like dudes are a little too sensitive and the problem is, I guess, I don't want to sound like a feminist or anything, but it's that hyper masculinity complex of, you know, you, you want to be 
it's kind of to me. I see this as kind of like, you know, feminine masculinity. Like, you know, you want to be the loud mouth. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, making my points, making my points. It's like just shut up and back off. You know, you don't have to be loud and making responses every six seconds, and then you realize, oh wait. You know, maybe I didn't need to do this. Maybe I didn't need to. But you just, you keep on responding. You, you know, just chill out. You don't have to address every damn thing, you know, Dr. Umar. You don't have to, you know, make it known. You could have just, yeah. I really wish he could have been the big man in this and just be like, you know, hey, you know, what's up? But, you know, that, that conscious stripper, it really rattled him. That that really rattled him. And I, I kind of blame the so-called conscious community or the pro-black community, the conscious and the pro-black community, because I, I feel like we clowned him when he was most vulnerable. And I, I, I can understand where, like, where Dr. Lamar is coming from because, you know, he's telling, hey, you know, this woman tricked me. She, well, you know, you know well, I won't say tricked, you know, she you know, betrayed him. And I can I can understand, you know, where Dr. Umar is coming from with that. And I think a lot of people will quit the side for the conscious stripper for some goddamn reason. And I, that really left him confused. And I think, a lot, you know, I think every angle, you know, it's, it's on us, it's on Umar, it's on Dr. Boyce, and we... We really need to get over petty shit. But, you know, this is pretty much another reason why I say we don't need women in pro in, in the in the blueprint or in the conversation of building because look, you know, we see how a woman dis you know, disrupted the 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 money or the grant that Doctor Umar was supposed to have before the contra stripper thing and we see how with Doctor Boyce he's putting all these weird Females on his show, and we see, you know, how he's taking a nosedive, and how people are looking at him wrong. So, you know, we need to, you know, you know, brothers gonna have to leave women in the back burners and say, hey, you're not going to be in the conversation when it comes to building because I don't want, you know, him thinking that I'm against him. You know, if if you want to talk about him, you do it on your own channel, your own place, you know. Yeah, that that that's that should be the code, I, you know. And I'm not saying that you know women don't deserve to know what's going on. I'm just saying it's it, it's it's in the best interest to not know what's going on, or to or just ease back, or just you know you know critique. But you know, don't you know don't don't, don't try to get it, don't try to get a voice over it. And I'm not trying to say be sexist or anything, but. We, we're seeing a lot of men being teared down over petty shit. That's really all I gotta say.